Watch three tonight. The one to watch for news in Eastern Idaho. In a small Minnesota town, one man is trying his best to dispense good medicine for less money. CBS's Lee Cowan introduces us to this man who's making the cost of feeling better a little easier to swallow. And Emma, you've taken your pills this morning already. Sharon Martinson was as concerned as anyone about prescription drugs. After all, she's a professional caregiver. But at 62, when her health started to fail, pushing pills became personal. How many do you take every single morning? Um, I would, I take seven. It was $800 a month that she simply couldn't afford. I even so much as went to the doctor and said, is there anything, any one of these that I can get off from? And he said, no. But then an answer came from the farm fields of Minnesota, where Sharon heard of this young pharmacist at a tiny corner drugstore who was offering the same drugs that cost her $800 for just $200. If my cost for a, a, a bottle of pills is, you know, a dollar, why should I charge $25 for that? His name is Jim Witt. Don't let his quiet demeanor fool you. He's almost single-handedly taking on the pharmaceutical industry. There's no gimmick. Instead of charging what the drug companies suggest for their generic drugs, he charges about what he pays. Imagine, drugs near cost. For the full bottle would be uh, right about $15. As opposed to what they suggest, which is what? $198. Wow. Witt's goal? To try and keep his prices between about 35 and 40% less than the so-called discount pharmacies. By not charging the markup that you could on generic drugs, that does pretty much come out of your pocket at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, I could be charging more, but I just wouldn't feel right about it. It started out as just a little hometown hospitality, but it's starting to catch on. That little corner drugstore, it's the only one in this town of about 500, is now getting inquiries from all across the country. He hopes the volume may one day make up for whatever losses he's taken. Proof, he says, that good business doesn't necessarily mean bad medicine. And I'll see you later. For Sharon Martinson, it was nothing short of a miracle. Do you think he saved your life? I would say probably. And so, our Saturday spotlight today shines down on pharmacist Jim Witt, a David in a sea of Goliaths, dispensing relief in more ways than one.